Looks like colder temperatures could be making themselves a home here at the Arklatex and get ready to crank up those fireplaces. But hold that thought. KSLA News 12's Michael Barnes joins me in studio with details on cold weather and fire safety before you crank on those fireplaces. Yeah, that's right, Dominique. I'm sure anybody's first mind is to bring some heat into their homes with fireplaces and space heaters right about now. I know I would. I turned my car heat on as soon as I got in this morning, like Matt asked me. But Shreveport Fire Department tells me those things get them sent out to house fires more than anything at this time of year. A couple of other things that make fire dangerous during the colder seasons is the use of fire around dried up leaves and foliage outside using bonfires, as well as the use of heating agents in tightly packed spaces near things like clothing and furniture. Even when it comes to the holidays, exhausting electrical outlets with decorations inside and out can cause short circuiting and fire safety always remains an important role while cooking. Shreveport Fire even warns to use generators safely during colder weather. We also have those winter storms that come about that tend to put out the knock out the power. Uh, with that being said, you know, generator usage, there are things that are concerned there. Uh, carbon monoxide is a big incident during the winter times. You know, that comes from incomplete combustion of those fuels. So if um, whether it be generators, uh, fireplaces or, or cooking sources, you know, the, the possibility of carbon monoxide is also at an increased risk during the winter time. Shreveport Fire Department says everyone should have and practice an escape plan in case of a fire. They also urge everyone to have working smoke detectors inside of their homes at all times of the year. Check out our KSLA News 12 app and website for details on some free fire prevention programs happening with Shreveport Fire Department throughout the rest of October.